Let's discuss about a problem that is uh, find local maximum value of fx equal to modulus x to the power m into modulus 1 minus x to the power n where m and n are natural numbers. So our function is y equal to mod x to the power m into modulus of 1 minus x to the power n. Now as we know to find out the local maximum or minimum value of a function we need to see the sign changing of the derivative of the function. So first of all we need to find the dy dx value of this function. Now to find the dy dx value of this function um, it will be easier for this particular function to take log on both sides and then differentiate because that will uh, make the process of differentiation quite simple. So if you take log on both sides, so ln y will come out to be m ln mod x plus n ln mod 1 minus x. So this is the value of dy dx for this function. Now we can differentiate both sides with respect to x. So if we differentiating, if we differentiate with respect to x, both the side, so we'll be getting 1 by y into dy dx and that will come out to be m by x. I think all of you know that the derivative of ln mod x is nothing but 1 by x minus n by 1 minus x. So you can see that the mod we have already get rid of the modulus part because we are using the property of the derivative that is uh, ddx of ln mod x is 1 by x. So using that particular property, we have already got rid of the modulus sign. So this is coming out to be um, m minus n plus n into x, okay, and divided by the LCM, that is x into 1 minus x. So we can see that the derivative of the function dy dx is nothing but the whole function y into the factor that is m minus m plus n x divided by the factors x into 1 minus x okay now we'll be going for the sign changing of the derivative function okay so for sign changing of the derivative function we can analyze that uh, the quantity y Okay, the quantity y that is a function itself, the function itself is a positive quantity because you see that the modulus of x is a positive quantity and 1 minus, modul 1 minus x modulus is also a positive quantity and positive quantity to the power natural number should give us positive values or at least non-negative value. So this y is definitely going to be positive. So we are sure about that. Now for this particular um, factor, this particular factor is going to vanish for x equal to m by m plus n okay this denominator factor is can become vanish and will is, uh, is going to vanish at x equal to 0 and uh, the other factor is going to vanish at x equal to 1 okay so these are the points where the derivative is expected to change its sign right obviously the derivative will not exist for x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 that is for the denominator factors so at x equal to 0 and x equal to 1, the dy dx will not be defined, but we can obviously define dy dx in the neighborhood of x equal to 0 and 1. Okay, so now we can go for the sine sequence of the derivative. So for sine sequence of the derivative, what you do is that we used to plot these critical points or the changing points that is x equal to 0 is one critical point, x equal to 1 is another critical point. And you can see that m by m plus n, which is definitely going to be a fractional quantity, so it should be lying between 0 and 1, m by m plus n. Now you can see that this particular part y is positive, and uh, like if I take a test point out there, so let's take a test point, suppose if I take x equal to 2 to be a test point for testing the sign of the derivative, so at x equal to 2, if we substitute x equal to 2 in the function, then you can see that uh, the value of dy dx will come out to be like this particular factor if I put x equal to 2 is going to become uh, negative this x part will be positive and this 1 minus x will be again negative so overall the value of the dy dx is coming out to be positive <clears throat> so we will be starting a wavy curve 
above the x-axis which is going to change its sign at 1 m by m plus n and 0 so this is going to be the wavy curve of the dy dx so here it is positive in between negative here it is again going to be positive and here it is going to be negative so this is the sign scheme of the derivative for the dy dx function and once we get the sign scheme of the derivative now our analysis for the local maxima will become very simple because we can just see that wherever the derivative is changing its sign from positive to negative so you can see that this particular point is m by m plus n so for this value of x the derivative is changing its nature from positive to negative so derivative is changing from positive to negative means function was increasing in this particular neighborhood and after this particular point in this neighborhood the function started decreasing so at this particular point it should have a local maxima because function was increasing and then it started to decrease so there should be a peak point in between so we can say so we can claim that the local maxima for the function fx so local max for fx will be achieved at the point x equal to m by m plus n so we can say that the local maximum value is going to be that maximum value is nothing but putting x equal to m by m plus n so if you put x equal to m by m plus n in the function then it is going to give you a value that you can calculate the function was this that is mod x to the power m into 1 minus x mod to the power n so we can simply put the value of uh, x to be m by m plus n okay and you can see that this is a positive value so modulus will not have any effect to this so this to the power m into 1 minus m by m plus n to the power n okay and this particular quantity is again positive so we are not putting modulus out there so final answer is going to be m to the power m into n to the power n divided by m plus n to the power m plus n okay so this is going to be the answer